I remember, I remember early on, and I don't know why this stuck with me because it's a very unremarkable memory, but I remember someone, like an acquaintance of mine had put a post on Facebook saying it's, this was, you know, maybe a week or so into the shutdown when the market was already on its way to, it was already chopped, I think down 25% yeah. or more. So it's already falling. And this person was telling their their network of uh, friends and family that it's time to sell, get rid of everything and protect yourself. And I remember chiming in like, actually, this is it's the opposite. I mean, you know, yeah. you generally want to sell high, buy low, right? That's the general idea of making money. And right now it's going down and, and you're selling. It's, it's, that's, that's not how it works. You should be buying more because... It's going to go back up. And of course, I was told that that's that's crazy. That's not how it works. And it remarkably recovered way faster than I thought it even would. Sure. You know, I threw a, I threw a couple more bucks into the market as it was crashing down. And then next thing I, I felt like next thing I knew, ah, I, I could have put more in. Now we're, we're cutting right back to square one. Yeah. I mean, who would have thought we'd see uh, over 20 percent gains in both 2020 and 2021? you know, while COVID has started and persisted throughout. Um, so that's the right mindset. And it's important to also make sure that there's specific tools in place that if you need your money, you don't actually have to worry really what the market's doing. For example, one of my clients just opened up a basically a line of credit on their investment account where they get to borrow from their investment account without actually having to sell their assets. How Ironic. does that work? Yeah, so basically, these these uh, third party lenders will understand. They understand how the markets work. What they'll do is they'll lend you fifty percent of your account balance. You pay them a small interest rate; it's about three point seven five percent, and you get to access your money without actually selling. Why at is that three, important? At three percent and change. At three percent and change. Um, so what's so interesting, one of my clients reached out to me a couple weeks ago. He said, look, I, I need, need some money. I'm doing some repair to my house. Took a look. I said, listen, I, you know, the market's been doing well. Who knows what the market's going to do? Why don't we open up a line of credit? He was like, what are you kind of same reaction? What are you talking about? So I explained it to him. He said, great. Wouldn't, and he hasn't accessed the money yet, but wouldn't, you know, the markets come down about 10%. So if he were to sell, he'd be selling at a short-term loss, right? But now right. he's going to be able to borrow his money pay a short interest or a small interest rate. He only needs it for a few months. So 3.75% over a few months is probably less than a percent. And he'll be able to pay it back. And um, he, won't, he won't have to sell any or liquidate any of his, of his accounts. Therefore, he won't have to pay any tax on his accounts. It's really a, uh, it's a fantastic strategy to use should someone need money. That's, that's, um, that is a very interesting concept that I was not aware of. Yeah. So you could pull, you essentially, I don't know if this is a good idea, but you could essentially, if you have say a uh, hundred thousand dollars, you've got a hundred thousand dollars in an investment account. Okay. And, and you feel the market correction is around the corner. You could take 50 out at, at, at a rate that's basically the same, if not a bit less than a mortgage, than what yeah. the mortgage rates are. Take 50 out, watch the market collapse. And then when it feels like you're close to the bottom, throw that 50 in there and then wait for it to come back up. You know, I, I wish you could. So technically when you're setting these up, they ask you what your purpose of the money is. Ah. The purpose cannot be to buy additional securities. You can't gamble so with it. Okay. I think they figured that out because <laughs> if you gamble with it and then lose it, that's not a good thing. Right, um, right. But the, the, uh, the idea, the concept of it, of having money on the sidelines to buy when the market's down is, is great. 